Okay, going to collect a 007 here with just a not so quick video on my favorite pistols in every caliber. So let me just clarify that I do not own every single caliber of pistol ever made. Uh, these are every caliber that I choose to own. So there's a couple that I don't own that I do not wish to own and I want to won't go into those, but we're going to go into the ones that I do own and the ones that I love the most and carry the most. So starting off uh, with the 22, um, the one, and again, these are what I carry mostly. So as far as a 22 pistol, the number one 22 out of the literally dozens of 22s that I own is this Taurus PT-22. And I know uh, a lot of people give Taurus a, a, a knock and they say they're not good pistols, but I've had zero problems with this pistol. I think it's a very attractive pistol with the nice rosewood grips and uh, it's a great gun. It's eight plus one. It has the uh, tip up barrel like you see right there, just like the Berettas do. And uh, it's just an all around great gun, easy to carry, beautiful double action trigger, love the pistol. So that would be my first one in the 22 long rifle. Next up would be 22 Magnum. In 22 Magnum, my favorite pistol and most carried um, would be this North American Arms 22 Magnum. Uh, this is the one and one eighth inch barrel. This one does come with two cylinders, so it comes with the 22 Magnum or the 22 uh, long rifle, but I never ever use the long rifle uh, cylinder. It only comes in the, um, in the 22 Magnum. Comes with these gorgeous uh, wooden grips on it. it. It fits in the palm of your hand. Um, I carry it in this nice little, um, this little pocket pouch right here and you just slide this in your back pocket or front pocket and there's no print, no outline of it and no one knows that you're carrying a pistol. So that would be in the, uh, the 22 Magnum. Uh, next up would be in 25 caliber. So next one in 25 caliber, a gun I absolutely love. I also carry this a lot from just running out to the store or something. I just picked this up and this is the 25 caliber Beretta Jetfire. Um, this is an eight plus one. It's got the European style mag release. So you got eight in the magazine and it also has the tip up barrel, just like you see right there. So you have nine rounds of 22. And, uh, for me, that's more than enough. I carry it in this nice little, uh, DeSantis holster. It's a little pocket holster. Fantastic gun, love the gun, um, been uh, carrying it an awful lot, and it's a good summer gun. You can throw it in your shorts if you wear shorts or, or any lightweight pants and, and no one knows you have it. So that's in the uh, 25 uh, caliber. Uh, next up, we go to the 32 caliber. And for me, I have several 32 calibers, um, and this is my favorite in that one. This is the Beretta Tomcat. I've owned this one for quite a while very similar uh, to the others that this one is uh, first off uh, this is seven plus one and so you got seven in the magazine and then also with the tip up barrel just like so so you have an eighth one right there so you carry in eight rounds of 32 acp could be double action or single action uh, carry it in this nice little uh, vega holster uh, from my friends over at craft holsters love this also very light easy to carry um, i take it all the time with me, easy, easy peasy gun to carry. Um, next one up is not the 32 ACP, but a 32 Smith & Wesson. And this is one of my all-time favorite guns. This is a gun that was moved in the Martin Scorsese, that was used in the Martin Scorsese movie, uh, The Irishman. Um, so this is a Smith & Wesson Model 30, and this is a five round, like I said, 32 Smith & Wesson. Um, awesome, awesome gun, uh, decades old, original uh, wood checkered uh, walnut grips on it. Absolutely love it. Nice and easy to carry and five rounds if you need it. And I just keep it in this nice lightweight holster and one of my absolute favorites, uh, Smith & Wesson Model 30. Next one, uh, we'll go into 380s. And in 380, if I had to pick one, and I have tons of three, uh, I'm sorry, wrong guy. If I had to pick one of the 380s, it would be right here. And obviously, no brainer, um, Walter PPK. 
So Walter PPK, um, you know, 007, James Bond gun, gun collector 007, been a fan for years. So this is uh, my all around uh, favorite gun. I have several variations of this and different styles and colors and finishes, but this is the all black Walter PPK. And uh, this one is six plus one in the chamber, lightweight, ergonomic. Um, easy, simple red dot sights. Um, it's really a point and shoot, double action, single action. I carry it in this nice golden Goldrich holster. Um, Walter PPK, what could I say? Probably uh, my favorite gun if I had to uh, go with one gun. I don't know, but I, I love it there. Okay, so next up, the one that tried to get ahead of itself is uh, the 9mm. If I had to pick one 9mm, also have tons and tons of 9mm, it's going to be this Glock 43. Um, I have several uh, Glocks and several Glock 43s. This one does not have the laser. I also have one with the laser built onto it. Um, and this one is a 7 plus 1. The standard magazine is six plus one, but you just put the extension, it gives you seven plus one in the tube. And all together, easy gun to shoot, beautiful Glock trigger on it, very easy to carry. Um, stock sights, I haven't really changed anything on it. Um, I carry it in this nice uh, uh, Cusack leather holsters. It's a leather holster, but it fits just like a, um, just like a Kydex holster. Phenomenal, phenomenal holster. Uh, Glock 43, absolutely one of my favorites. All right, next up is the Classic 38 Special, and got a bunch of those, but if I had to pick one, and the one that I do carry the most, it's this Ruger LCR. Um, the LCR is a light, uh, light compact revolver, LCR, um, five rounds of 38 Special. Uh, it's all polymer with a little bit of steel, a little bit of aluminum. It, there's an internal uh, hammer on it, and uh, it's a beautiful double action only uh, gun. It, had, it came with these whole grips on it, um, very comfortable to shoot, and it's snag proof. It's very, very easy to carry this gun, and it shoots beautifully. Um, the trigger has something called a cam system on it, so it's one of the smoothest triggers um, that you get right from a, a stock trigger. It feels like a, a custom trigger job, and I carry it in this uh, lightweight uh, holster, holster store uh, company. So that would go for my um, for my uh, 38 uh, uh, special carry. Um, the next one would be my 38 um, Smith and W. And as far as calibers, and as far as that one goes, the 38 Smith and W. This is a Harrington and Richardson break top. Um, this is an oldie but goodie. Um, just going to show you easily how this opens. You just do that. If I pull this all the way, it will eject the round, so I'm not going to do that. So that's a five round. It's a Harrington and Richard came with these mother and pearl grips on it. Absolute beautiful gun. And I actually carry this gun. It's an oldie, like I said, but I carry it in this um, outside the waistband holster. And uh, if you're wearing a little bit of an older, uh, older, a longer shirt, um, it just, you know, clips right on your belt, just like so. And very, very easy to carry this gun. And uh, it, it'll do the trick. It's a very comfortable gun. And it's a cartridge that's very hard to get, a 38 uh, Smith & Wesson. But um, it's, it, they're out there, and it's a great gun. Um, next one would be for 45 calibers. I have a lot of 45 calibers. The one that I choose the most, though, is the Springfield Armory XDS. I pretty much carry it with the extended magazine, so um, this is a, a 7 plus 1 on this one here. So um, this is a, a great compact 45 caliber gun. What can I say? It's made in Croatia. It's a, it's a heavy-duty gun. It's built like a tank. Um, it came with the fiber optic front sights on it, if you can see. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Glock-like safety trigger on it. And standard magazine is five, or you could add the seven uh, if you want, like like I have on it there. So depending on you know where I go or whatever, I'll either carry both or just one magazine. It's a great, great all-around 45 caliber, um, and I carry it in also a holster store. But this is one of their heavy duty, so this is a, a heavy duty leather uh, from the holster store holster. So and I have no affiliation with the holster store whatsoever, but I do I do like their holsters. So that would be in a 38 uh, Smith and Wesson. I'm sorry, a 45 caliber. And lastly, 
um, 357 Magnum. So when we go up to the 357 Magnum, as far as I'm concerned, this is the king of uh, 357 Magnum, and this is the Smith & Wesson 586. Um, this is just an all-around absolutely gorgeous gun. To me, the best co color combination on any gun is the blued steel with the walnut handles on it. And uh, this is six rounds of 357. Um, absolute classic gun. A pleasure to shoot. It's so heavy. It has the, the built-in sort of combat sights on it. It has adjustable rear sights. Absolutely one of my all-time favorites. Um, a heavy gun, and, and, and I have carried it. And, the, you know, the way you carry it is with this, uh, you need to do a very, very strong outside the waistband belt holster. And this is one, I think it's from Sabichi Leathers. It doesn't even say it, but I think that's uh, where I got it on Amazon. And, uh, you know, awesome, awesome, awesome gun. So uh, that's basically it. It's an unquick look at my favorite pistols in every caliber that I own. So uh, let me let, let me know what you guys think, and uh, you know what pistols are your favorite in in your in the calibers that you own. All right. So thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.